According to a report by the National Science Foundation, in 1978, only 1.58% of meteorologists were African American, and even fewer were women. Now, one of the pioneers for African American female weather broadcasters was June Bacon Bursey, and she entered the airways back in the 70s, blazing a path for many women that followed her. Sadly, she passed away last year at the age of 80. We are so honored and so privileged to have her daughter, Dale St. Clair, join us live in studio during Black History Month to talk about her mother's legacy. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. You know, what inspired your mother to go into meteorology and become a meteorologist? Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. My mother always loved the atmosphere, loved the earth, was a, an environmentalist from the time she was a child. When she saw the atomic bomb um, in 1945 as a kid in grade school, she wanted to pursue meteorology. So how did she get her first TV job? And did she even think about going into TV? Because a lot of us just kind of go into the science and think it's fun. It's like, oh, I'll try TV. She went into science um, to do research. She worked for the Atomic Energy Commission and, and NOAA. She uh, wanted to be a journalist. Um, so while working at the National Weather Service, uh, took journalist, journalism classes at NYU, got a, a, a position as a science reporter at WGR after uh, searching all over the country for a, 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 a reporting slot. Mm -hmm. Within a few months, the uh, chief meteorologist uh, was fired, and she stepped up and uh, took his slot, and the rest is history. Yeah, it is. Now, you witnessed the barrier to get, you know, broken down uh, as a child. What motivated your mother? Doing, making the earth a better place. She really? loved the atmosphere. Uh, she loved science. She was part of the, the group that pushed for the limited test ban, uh, ban theory in 1963, joining a group of uh, scientists and envi environmentalists uh, went during the hydrogen bomb bombing. What drove my mother is to be a service uh, through her career uh, in science and meteorology. You know, she really paved a path for just so many women, even outside of meteorology. How did she influence you, and how would you say she influenced other women that just wanted to get into science or, you know, anything for that matter? Empowerment. Yeah, empowerment. Absolutely empowerment. No, no is never the final answer. That's what I learned growing up. That's what I use in my STEM career, which is uh, male-dominated as well. Uh, and the fact that she uh, was, was always flooded with a sea of no's, even at UCLA when she went to her uh, pursue meteorology, her advisor told her to pursue home economics, and this is already being a, a, a honors in math uh, from Friends University. I mean, no is just not the final answer. We only have 30 seconds left. How can we continue to honor her and honor her legacy? I'm relaunching the June Bacon Bursey Scholarship for Women. She was an advocate of women uh, going into science uh, and STEM, and uh, we'd love for people to participate through the American Geophysical Union. And how can they get information on that in 10 seconds? Uh, we have a link. I don't okay. <laughs> Can we have a link that we can, we can yeah, put the right. link associated I was say, can with this. Deal. There exactly. we go. Yeah, we'll stick the link up on the screen. <laughs> Thank we you. certainly appreciate you coming on. Thank you on. for having me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.